Hello everyone, Samantha here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a technique as if I had a jelly plate, right? So, um, I don't even want to call it full jelly plate. I was trying to come up with some type of name for it, but I don't, I don't have a name for it. So basically I'm just going to share what it is that I'm doing. Um, you know, I have a jelly plate. But if a person doesn't have this, but they want to do, um, what is it? Uh, um, how can I say? A mono print, um, as if they were using a jelly plate, they can use a piece of plastic. Now, this is similar to the artsy challenge that I just recently did, but this is going to be a little bit different because... I'm going to use this set of watercolors that I've had for some time. These are liquid watercolors, right? So, it already has liquid. It's already liquidated. Hold on. So, uh, now, <clears throat> a person can use watercolor paper. If they have, these are some watercolor postcards. Cause, because, you know, if it gets wet... Um, it doesn't buckle, really. But if you use regular paper or cardstock, it may buckle. But I'm going to use this watercolor paper. But I'm also going to use... God bless you, honey. I'm going to also use... Hold on, it's something else I'm, I'm going to tell you in a moment. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm also going to use some paper and some cardstock here because... I'm not going to talk through the entire video. Um, let me just share. So I shared that. I'm using the liquid watercolor, the paper. And the, the, the rest is really a um, the paintbrush, right? And I think I'm going to use like a toothpick or a skewer or, or even, where is this? Oh, my little Faber-Castell texturizers to put some texture Um in the watercolor so we'll see how that works it's not thick like paint so um i don't know how well that's going to work but it's worth giving it a try i should probably even try to use some masks but if i come up with something while i'm doing doing this um spontaneously i'll share it yeah that's what i'll do so okay and then i'll probably even try to mix paint and watercolor so yeah i'm gonna try to do some experiment some experimenting Okay, so yeah, let me get some paint. I think I'll use th these paints are here. Um, right by the side of me, the other paints. So I'm probably going to try to use these paints. I'll pull out some other colors. Yeah, plus these. I've shown these in a previous video. And, um, yeah. So, hold on. Let me see if I can find. Okay, I got some. Ye I have some yellow here. I have some. Well, we got red over there. We have purple. I have some other colors here. What's this right here? We have blue. We have white. That may look nice too. We have some pink and some peach and some orange. Yeah, so. Okay, this should be interesting to see what's going to happen. So, let's just give this a play and. I mean, it's mono print, so it's not like it's going to um, have to be like something so, so recognizable. I have this hard um, paintbrush. It's, kind of, it's actually ruined these two, but I saved them. They got hardened, but I saved them to make markings. And maybe I will probably even put down some glitter or something. Hmm. Let's just see. Like this stuff right here. Nah, nah, nah. Let me just stick with this. All right. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to play some music. Life the same old way. Try your slowly eat away at me. I need a 
touch from the Lord today. Oh, revival. We must reconcile. I want to be like Jesus. Deliver, set free. How can I reach out to someone else when I ain't got it together myself? I'm just stuck playing the cards I was dealt. Here in my heart, I'm crying out for help. I'm looking for purity, self control, and immunity. Said I wanna be like. Jesus, deliver, set free Better oh, than I was, I was before, before. Oh, was before. oh Lord, please start, start oh, Lord, over those things I, I need, need more of you More of you More of you oh. More of your love You said your mercy more. Make me 
me better.
that to be the truth giving praise. Put your hand on your neighbor's back and tell them it's already getting easier. When you prophesy to your neighbor, tell them God's already moving on your behalf. Okay, so I'm back and I just wanted to share um, the mono prints and something that I made with one of them, but it's not um, um, complete. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know to call it faux jelly plate because it's nowhere near jelly plate, but but you know the I think it's the um, the technique is similar in that it's about like laying down color and then placing something on, um, placing a piece of paper or whatever, um, it's a surface and pulling up a print. So in that case, you know, I don't want to say full mono print cause a mono print is a mono print. It's one print. Like, you know, you can't duplicate it really. Somebody will have to sit there and just go crazy to try to duplicate something like that. Anyway. So you, you see, I used a piece of craft mat that I had. And I also use this piece of plastic. This is from the chopping mats. You know, um, that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. Chopping mats come in here, but I use the plastic. The plastic is handy. And what I like about this, it's like it's easy to clean. <laughs> it's easy to clean, right? So, here are the mono prints that I made. So, some of them look really different, right? So, this is one. Right, and there's so much that could be do done with this, with doodling and stuff like that, which I'm going to be working on one tonight, doodling in the white spaces. So this was actually, this is some card paper that I had got from um, Ranger for for making cards. So, but and I'm going to be using this to make cards. This this is I'm going to be decorating this, like I said, doodling on it and doing some other stuff too. So that's, let me show those, those, so this is this one, right? Then there's this one, right? I like this print, this color, all right? This is actually watercolor paint, watercolor and acrylic paint, but look, I don't know if you can see the, um, the shimmer a little bit. Yeah, you can see it right there. You see it? Because I use that um, Deco Art Metallic Acrylic Paint. And then I also, I believe this was also some of the Pink Crafts Smart Acrylic Paint. This is watercolor. So this right here, actually this was a blend of paint, watercolor, and um, yeah, that metallic. See, I think you could see the metallic a little bit there. Yeah, I like this print right here. I really like this part, the magenta. I think that's what that color is. <laughs> this, I really like this. Oops, I like this one. Um, all of these are done on that card stock from, um, that card paper, rather, from Ranger. I have one in a giveaway. This is a mixture of white paint watercolor and yeah that metallic and you can see a little bit of it when you hold, hold it a second way you see the shimmer um here's another one that's similar right 
So if you just want to make some backgrounds or any more with that. Okay. Let me see. I think that's all of them with that. Then I had some like cream colored um, cardstock. Like this. Can you really see it? I don't think you can see the shimmer a little bit. Right, so I might end up trimming this down on the sides, but then again, that may not because I can doodle around it. Here's another one where I actually use the texturized cards, the texture cards. I like this one too. So if you don't have a jelly plate and you still want to use it to do this kind of technique, you really can. Um... Here are these. These are green. I could have put this some other color, but I'll do something with that. Like, they're not... These are just backgrounds that can be used for other things. So, see this right here? Um, I may end up using some of these to make bookmarks and stuff like that. The stamp for... Um, for some... Um, someone mentioned... I think it was Jules that said for seniors... And it was a confirmation because I had been dialoguing with somebody about, you know, um, work, volunteering in a senior citizen home and doing things and making things with them. And I was like, maybe bookmarks. And then I was like, mm, I don't know. Maybe I should give the when I was making them. And then when I saw Jules, I believe it was Jules um, response. It was like a confirmation. So I just thank God because I really enjoy making the bookmarks. So, yeah, these can be not only used for cards, but bookmarks as well. So, I really like this one. I think this is one of my favorites, only because it looks so avant-garde. Really, like, look at that white on top of there. Like, that is really nice. I'm sorry, I'm going on like this because I'm trying to look at it at the same time. I'm trying to look at it as I show it. Yeah, I'm looking into the phone. The lens, right? And so, then... Last, but um, I'm also show what I did with some. Oh, this is the postcard, the watercolor postcard by Strathmore. Look at that. So this, I'm not gonna rip this up. I mean, it got some specks on the back, but I might decorate it and just whatever God has me to put here to send someone a word of encouragement. That's what I'll do with this one. And last but not least. I, I use some regular paper. So if you don't have any cardstock or, you know, watercolor paper, you know, you can still use, um, you can still make a mono print using regular printer paper. So that's what I did here. And um, here's another, it was a whole sheet, but I cut it for something and I'm going to show you what I cut it for. Yeah. So no, it's this side right here. But it, since the paper's so thin, it goes through, you know. And here's another print. I like this one. Look at this one. This is so nice. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to leave this one whole and put some words and then, um, like, make sure it's really flat and straightened out. Or maybe even tape it onto some, like, cardboard or something like that. Or something a little thick. Or even, like, um, maybe decoupage it. Oh, and write something nice. We shall, we shall see so many possibilities, right? So, with remember I showed this one um, just a few seconds ago. So, I actually cut it out and I put it on a card, right? So, this, need, this is just a sample that I wanted to show someone. I'm actually sampling something out because I want to make these little coloring books, little tiny coloring books to give out. Um, and I need to probably stamp like a little image here that's... Um, age appropriate for whomever I'm sending it to and then I cut it out and I actually taped it on um and like I said it's not done it's just the process so I actually used this and glued it down but I need to do it better of course because it's a little flippy and then as I open it I, I stamp remember I have I keep saying remember because if you didn't see the other videos you don't know right I have these little um these stamps I had gotten from the Dollar Tree and then also Latricia had gifted me some. It's these. Right? Well, you can stamp an image and color it. So I did some stamped images. And then I had used some of the stamps that Latricia 
um, gifted me with. And then I, um, you know, I stamped, I stamped out some images. That's the other one. There was a heart here. Oh, right here. And so I'm going to, along with some other activities and coloring page, pages that I actually published out there, like in the book, I'm going to cut them out. And somehow or another, I'm going to bind them. Hold on, I want that smaller one first. I got this stamp that says handmade, but everything in here, I mean, it's put together, but it's still not my original artwork. So, no, I'm not going to put that. That's not, It's not necessary to put that. Somebody will know that it's, it's put assembled together. Handmade assemblation. Handmade assembling. <laughs> I mean, assemblation. Handmade assembling. So, um, yeah. And so, somehow or another, I'm going to um, bind it in there. I do have, like, um, I forgot what they're called. And I can use my um, Memory Keepers um, Crocodile. I think they're eyelets. But um, I don't know the size of my eyelets. And I don't know, so I won't, I don't know where to set it on my crocodile. So I have to go to Michael's tomorrow, but I'm also going to look, think of, of a different way to like kind of bind it because I don't know. I know I need to make several of these a month and I don't know if, um, I don't know if that's the best option. I definitely don't want to sew it in. I need to come up with some, something I was thinking about just stapling it, getting some nice staples and stapling it. But I don't want the staple to go through and then somebody hurts themselves with it on the other side. And then I was like, okay, well, I can lay down some washi tape over it. But I just don't want it to be, like, tacky. So, um, you know, and I know with an eyelet, you know, you can, um, it's pretty, it's, it's nice looking. And then, you know, um, it's sturdy. It, it's good. Oh, somebody was um, messaging me. So it stir it stays in place and it looks nice. So maybe I will go with the eyelets. But if I go to Michael tomorrow, maybe I can just go ahead and buy another set of eyelets and really pay attention to the size. And if it's the size that I have at home, then I could just I'll know to either set my um crocodile um the same or higher or even if it's bigger, higher. So or lower if it's lower. So yeah, so Oops, I'm sorry. This thing switched like that. It went over to the side. All right, so yeah, so that's it. And you see, you are loved. Let me get some more. Let me that. make that image darker and just make sure it's nice. And, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. My, it's this thing. My husband was like, you got to get another pole now because this one is kind of like, I'm sorry. Hold on. The camera turning around. Yeah. This one is kind of old and it's getting rickety. But it's, it had, I put it to good use. But, um, it was, it's, it's time to get another one. I think. So at any rate, so I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.